Hey guys, welcome back to another week's episode. In this episode, we're gonna be installing something very awesome, like we got a small little box here from Norsha Engineering. Um, so yeah, super stoked about this. And honestly, as you've probably seen in the heading, this is a modification that every Pajero needs, in my opinion. It's just gonna make life so much easier. So yeah, it's small, but it's gonna make a big difference. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so for all the Pajero owners out there, this is probably one of the things I hate the most about their Pajero. All right, so as you can see, this is absolute wasted space. Let me just get this out of the way. So, Mitsubishi, what have you done, man? What have you done here? Um, so, yeah, guys, basically, I'm keeping my phone in the cup holders while I'm driving because there's absolutely no space for it. It's very small and there's like a card holder, but yeah. I'm definitely not a, a business person holding cards with me, so that's just no use for me. And then this whole slot is for one 12 volt socket. So that's definitely a waste of space to me. You can't put your phone in there. So if you've got drinks, you need to put your phone either in like the glove box or, you know, I don't know where you're going to put it. So definitely Norsh Engineering is going to help us out today. Let me show you what they've sent me. Okie dokie, so as you can see it's express post which is great, there's Colin's um, info, I'll put everything in the links down below as well, and then it comes with heaps of instructions, I've had a quick read through everything and everything is super clear, so it will be very good and very easy to install, it comes with detailed instructions on how to install everything. Alright, so let's get to the good stuff. So first up, this panel. Awesome, there you go. So as you can see, this is awesome. It's got a slot for my throttle controller, I would say. And um, so that panel is just gonna replace that one down there, which is great. And then I've got my main panel that's gonna replace the card slot. So there you go. This is basically just gonna replace that panel there. So I would have heaps of room to put phones in there and whatever else you want to put in there. So that's pretty awesome. Well done, guys. Let me just run you through. Oh, look at that. I'm not sure that come that here. That's pretty insane. So yeah, let me just run you through a few things about Norsha Engineering. Alrighty guys, so before we get into the installation, I just quickly want to run down through some facts about Norsha Engineering. Alright, so they use the CR10S Pro printers. They've Currently got five of these just to keep up with the response times. And um, yeah, they use ASA plastic, which is very good as well. You can see it's high quality. Um, so yeah, you can definitely appreciate that you're gonna get a high quality product. Apparently it takes like nine to 10 hours to print individual panels as well. And fun fact, this one took over 40 hours to print. So you definitely can appreciate the fact that it took so long to print something for you. And it's not just off the shelf sort of China stuff that you're gonna buy from someone that's on a, on a shelf in a warehouse somewhere ready to ship. Same with this panel as well. That took over six hours to print. So yeah, guys, you can definitely appreciate the fact that Colin owns expensive printers to print out products for us and our individual needs because it's not only these panels that you can buy, I'll leave the link here so you can see on their website all the stuff they do. So yeah, they can do panels with UHF switches, they can do, you know, winch switches, all those kind of stuff. Whatever you need in your space that you got in your Pajero, Colin can help you out with that as well. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Everything is customizable to suit your needs. So yeah guys, I'm very excited to fit it up. So let's get straight into it, eh?
Also guys, another thing, if you're unsure how to tackle this job and you're not sure how to remove the dash, just follow the instructions. It's very detailed and the thing I love about it, it shows everything is covered in the following videos. So there's a YouTube video that you can follow as well just to make sure you're doing everything right and you know, just make it easy for yourself I guess. So yeah, detailed instructions which helps a lot and yeah, just look at that, everything is pictured. So good stuff, let's get on with it. Okay, so after you took the dash apart, um, there should be two exposed nuts. So that one there, and that one there. So with those two screws, you need to undo them, and then this whole section will come apart. But just to be safe, we're gonna remove this as well, along with the air vents, just so everything's out of the way when you work on that area there. Alrighty, so as you can see, everything is apart now. Um, now, <laughs> don't be afraid. I know there's a lot of stuff to plug back in, but it's fairly simple, so don't stress. So after the two um, screws has been unbolted, the suit comes straight out. Okay, so once everything is apart, um, what I'm gonna do is just unscrew this section over here, just so that can come out and so I can clean all this dirty bits out. But yeah, I'm not gonna unplug anything because there's just too many wires then. Um, so yeah, unbolt this part, then this section should come out and then you can do the bottom section. Alrighty, so once everything is out, as you can see, it's whole, which is great. Um, it's, it is a bit dusty, so just grab the vacuum cleaner and then just make everything nice and clean here. And then we can continue with the new panels going in. Alrighty guys, so we're now gonna install this bad boy. Um, so as you can see, I've got the main battery voltage, auxiliary battery voltage for people that run steel battery. I've got two USB chargers, which is a quick charge and just a normal charge, which is great. And then a UHF input as well. I don't have a UHF at the moment, but in the future when I'm going to do your remote trips and all those sort of things, it would be great to have a big UHF. So that's just going to stay there until I get one to plug that straight in and I'll have power. Another cool thing about this, so you'll need to wire everything up, but it comes with fuses as well. Look at that, so that's pretty cool. So if anything goes wrong, uh, you'll be covered, which is great, so there you can go. Um, but yeah, let me show you how to diagnose um, positive and negative. 
Okie dokie, so all you do is you'll take your um, factory 12 volt socket. Now as you can see there is a blue wire and a black wire on my car. Black is obviously negative and blue is positive. But the way to test it, just take your wires. So positive and negative. Alright, and then we're going to see if this battery light comes on. There you go. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to turn the camera to show you if the light comes on. Okay, let's have a look. There you go, so the battery shows 12.4 volts. So in that way you can see it works. Um, so yeah, basically what you want to do is just chop that off and then use some terminals and wire the wires up into there. Make sure guys you disconnect your battery as well before you do any sort of wiring. Just to be safe. Here's what I've done. I've trimmed that back a tiny bit, so positive and negative. And then what I've done actually, not really supposed to do this, I reckon, but I wired all three of them onto the same positive and all three of them to the same negative. Um, so as you can see, there's the positive. So everything is wired there. And then all three negatives. There you go. So you're just basically going to use a terminal to connect it to that and then I'm also just going to use some heat shrink uh, just so everything stays nice and connected because when one is like disconnected all three will be disconnected so if you're going to do it this way just make sure it doesn't come loose and it's properly connected uh, to run all three at the same time. As you can see that's all nice and wired up neatly um, so just use some heat shrink and yeah as you can see positive and negative. So I've put the battery back on. So let's see if I turn the key with the, the car will go on. Phew, that's all lights, great. Here you go, so yeah, that's, that's looking really good. So yeah, that's awesome. So basically we're just gonna take my throttle controller as well and then just put that in there and run the, the wire through there just so it's nice and neat. Uh, take the screws, screw that back up, and then we're gonna take the full card panel, and not the card panel, the phone holder panel, and put that back in there. I'd just like to show you, look at that, everything is exactly the same. Look at the height. There you go, so as you can see, this is perfectly master. Colin, I don't know how you did it, mate, but you did an awesome job, so yeah, guys, time to put that in. I'm so excited. Everything is now put together. Um, it looks really good. Everything is nice and sturdy. Uh, you got to use the existing screws that were there, so don't lose them. And I've just used some fiber washers just to make sure the vibration is not that bad. Don't tighten them up too hard because it is plastic, and you don't want it to snap when you go on corrugations. Um, so yeah, guys, everything is nice and hooked up. High kit is in there. So everything is working, make sure to test it out, see if all the lights come on as well. Um, but yeah, once that is all good, uh, what you want to do is put everything back together and um, then it will be all good. Make sure to um, plug everything into the places where it were. Alright, alright guys, let me quickly do this and then I'll get back to you. Awesome guys, so as you can see everything is nice and back together. Uh, what I've done with the ultra gauge is actually put some velcro behind it. There you go. So it can easily come off if you need to take it off there. And just look at that, everything is working so nice. Um, everything is very sturdy. So as you can see I'm pressing there in all the corners, that's really good. Um, so yeah, everything is working, that's awesome. And look at this panel, oh man, look, I can put my whole hand in there. So finally I can have like three, four, four phones in there, uh, which is great. Um, some of you may say, oh, but now you don't have a 12 volt socket, uh, which is true, um, but that's what that slot's for. So eventually I'll probably use the old 12 volt socket that was there and just fit it in there. Just so I've got a 12 volt for some reason I go camping uh, if I need it. But mostly it's just a USB to charge up my camera gear and phones and so on. Um, so yeah guys, and there you can see the battery voltmeter, which is awesome. So 
yeah, well done, Colin. These products are very sturdy and yeah, just just amazing. It just looks factory, doesn't it, guys? Like, come on, like this is how it should be. That is just awesome. Super stoked. Awesome, guys. Well, there you have it. Colin at Norsha Engineering, thank you so much, mate. I definitely love this mod. It's probably one of the simplest mods that I've done, but it's one of the greatest mods too, because I'm just gonna use it every day, putting my phone in the holder instead of putting it in the cup holders, because yeah, probably every Pajero owner out there can um, relate to this, having wasted space. So yeah, guys, if you definitely liked what you've seen over here, I'll leave all the links in the description. Make sure to contact Colin by email. I'll leave all his details and yeah, just a link to the website as well because it's not only the panels that he sells, it's a whole range of products and you probably will come across some that you've never seen before and you'd be like, I need that. That's what happened to me. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining in. It is definitely great quality products and I'm super stoked about it. So yeah. Everything's in the description to make sure you guys get it as well. So Colin at Nostra Engineering, thanks mate, and I'll happily buy from you again. Alright, take it easy guys, see you later. Bye.